Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. This week, Google has begun to roll out the January security update for Android. This update is rather important as it includes patches for five critical RCE vulnerabilities that affect smartphones and tablets running Android 12 through Android 15. Every month, Google makes a new security update available to devices that are running the Android operating system. Sometimes these updates contain fixes for minor bugs or issues, but this one should be installed as soon as possible. The company categorizes these patches so that you know which part of Android is being affected. Right off the bat, you can see that there are nine high severity patches that pertain to the framework itself, and then one high security patch that pertains to the media framework. However, it's when we get to the system section that we can see there are five critical security patches that fix RCE vulnerabilities, AKA remote code execution. And these are very bad as they allow for attacks on your device from a remote location which means they do not need to have access in order to steal some of your data. There is another remote code execution vulnerability listed here, but it's categorized as high severity, so it's slightly less important. And then there are eight other high severity fixes, ranging from EOP, AKA elevation of privileges, information disclosure, and denial of service attacks. This update also comes with two patches that are included in the Google Play system update as well, which is also important to install and sometimes comes before the official over the air update since Google sends out those instead of your OEM or wireless carrier. Along with the January 1st security update, there's also one for January 5th. And these are gonna be tied to vulnerabilities within the hardware itself, instead of exploits for the Android operating system. This includes one high severity vulnerability for imagination technologies component. So while it's not the worst offender here, it isn't that great either. Now, there is a really bad vulnerability for those who have a specific MediaTek modem. You can see here within this section, and it allows for a remote code execution attack to happen when a device connects to a rogue base station that's controlled by an attacker. So for example, if you're out at a big event and your device happens to connect to an attacker's hardware before you have installed this update, then it could have been exploited, which again is another reason to install these over the air updates as soon as they're made available to the public. There are a handful of other high severity patches for MediaTek components as well, and a few for Qualcomm too. I understand that there are going to be some people who have had a bad experience when installing over the air updates. And while some bugs can pop up from time to time after installing these, they shouldn't be a reason for you to ignore them entirely. Google has already made these updates available to Pixel hardware, but other OEMs and wireless carriers tend to take longer. So you'll want to keep an eye out on that over the air update notification and don't forget to install the Google play system update as well. I have a separate dedicated guide showing you how that is done for all Android smartphones and tablets. So I'll be sure to have that linked down below and please remember to like this video as it really helps to keep me motivated and also subscribe to the channel for more Android content 
like this.